Well, this is the home of the Panama Red. If you need something. To <laughs> this is the home of the Panama Red. Uh, they will talk to you about that. Oh, that's what's the Panama Red? Something is called. <laughs> Uh, eso no lo tengo que traducir. 
decir. Sí. Última pregunta, Tony Frank de Panamá Rock. Panamá Rock. Panamá Rock. Panamá. You say. Panama. Hi, it's a Panamá Rock. Sí, yo soy Panamá Rock. How do you feel about presenting to us your new album Scream after you've been away for a little while and especially presenting it to this audience? Latin America. Uh, your new uh, album yeah, Scream. How do you feel about it? Well, uh, uh, with this screw, the first, uh, I always wanted to spend a lot of time making an album, you know, I've been on the for about three years, and I used to go and do an album in six or eight weeks, and I built my own studio in my house, and uh, I just took my time, and, and it's not what I like, I should, it's an experiment that I've tried. I, I, it turned out okay, but I, I mean, I'm, I've let that process go now. But uh, I, I, do, I do a one of my two songs off the album on the stage. I um, I can't do it every song I've ever done. I'll be up there for a week, you know. I mean, I've been writing songs for many, many years, you know, so I try and please as many people as I can. And there's always something that goes, boo, 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 boo. So I try and do a little pinch of Black Sabbath, the early Blizzard Diary, and No More Tears, and you know, whatever I've got done. And I've got so many songs. Ok, siempre quise tomarme el tiempo de hacer un álbum porque usualmente me demoraba entre 6 y 8 meses haciendo un álbum contrario a un grupo, por ejemplo, como Death Lever, que se tomaba entre 3 y 4 años para hacer su disco. Entonces, Scream es un experimento para él, uh, de tomarse el tiempo y poner la atención a cada canción. Uh, en el concierto no solamente vamos a escuchar Scream, va a traer algo de Black Sabbath, algo de Ozzy, algo de lo nuevo y... y así. Right. Thank you, Ose. Bueno, eh, Ose, queremos darte las gracias. Estamos muy felices de que estés aquí en Panamá por primera vez y en Centroamérica, de parte de cuatro décadas de fans que, que hay aquí presentes de todas las edades. Así que, bueno, estaremos pendientes por irte a ver el 19, pasado mañana, y en el gran concierto de, de Ose. Y bueno, la gente de los medios podemos pasar a un brindis. Les agradezco mucho el haber venido a, a esto en nombre de Show Pro. Y bueno, nos vemos el 19 en, en lo que va a ser el concierto de Ozzy Osbourne eh, por primera vez en Panamá. Thank you so Ha, 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 ha.